a very happy tuesday to you friends let's sign ourselves in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit today we are going to reflect on the verse john 17:3 and it reads like this and this is eternal life that they may know you the only true god and jesus christ whom you have sent it is a very important verse because it contains the key to eternal life we will focus on three words the first word is no and the other two words are eternal life the first word no what does this no imply if you read the gospel of saint luke in chapter 1 when angel gabriel comes to mother mary and tells her that you are going to bear a son in luke 134 mother mary replies how shall this be seeing i know not a man what mother mary means here is that she has not been intimate with any man the no implies intimacy jesus implies intimacy when he says that we should know god and we should know him that is the way that is the key to eternal life how intimate are we with our god before we answer that question i think it is fair to ask why should we be intimate with god and that brings us to the other two words eternal life let me take you to the catechism of the catholic church and how it defines as uh, eternal life it defines eternal life like this living forever with god in the happiness of heaven entered after death by the souls of those who die in grace and friendship of god i will repeat the catechism of the catholic church defines eternal life as living forever with god in the happiness of heaven entered after death by the souls of those who die in grace and friendship of god you see there there are two conditions required to have eternal life number 1 you should die in grace and number 2 you should be in friendship with god so let us take this matter of to die in grace to die in grace i believe the safest way to die in grace is to live in grace because we don't know when death will visit us so if we are living in grace when death whenever death visits us we will die in grace look at the recent pandemic thousands have died thousands in the last two or three months have died who never thought that they would be dead in this year did they get an opportunity to turn back to god did they get an opportunity to repent and reconcile with god did they get a chance to confess their sins some of them didn't even get a decent christian burial so isn't it important for us to ensure that we live in grace so that we can die in grace now how do we live in grace where does grace come from grace comes from god So if grace comes from God it makes sense that we should be friends with him we should be intimate with him because when you are intimate with God he will give you his grace for you to live in grace and die in grace which brings us to the next point how are we to get intimate with God the same way we will get intimate with any person in this world I would say there are three important points. Imagine a couple, a couple fallen in love. 
and they want to get intimate with each other what would they do i would say three things number 1 they would try to get to know each other as much as possible the likes and dislikes of each other number 2 they once they know this once they have understood the likes and dislikes of their partner they will do what the partner likes and they will not do what the partner doesn't like and number 3 they will talk to each other more they will communicate with each other they will share their days they will share their lives with each other the same applies to jesus we should know more and more about god by reading the bible what he likes what he doesn't like what he has commanded and what he has forbidden having known this the second step is to do what he has commanded and not do what he has forbidden and number 3 we should get intimate with god by speaking and talking to him more and more by sharing your life with him more and more through prayer so it is time to ask ourselves how intimate are we with our god if you feel that you have still got to do a lot then don't lose time take action because at stake is the greatest gift and grace ever which is everlasting life eternal life with jesus in the happiness of heaven let us pray father god give us the grace to realize our need to be intimate with you so that we can live a life filled with grace and one day obtain eternal life with you in heaven we ask this in the name of lord jesus christ amen have a blessed day in lord jesus